Man, so two weeks ago, I unboxed these pieces right beside me. And the goal was to do an unboxing and then show you what I got, tell you about it, show you how it looks, all of that stuff. And the reason why it's been two weeks is because a couple of these pieces had to be exchanged. They didn't really fit right. So I go to finish this video and kind of do a continuation from that unboxing only to find out I don't have the unboxing footage anymore. I lost it. And I don't know how I lost it. I don't know why it's not on my external hard drive like it should be. So, um, yeah, there's no unboxing for this video, unfortunately. As you can see, today is a haul video for the brand Collar Clothing. If you've been watching my channel for a minute, you would know that last year I collaborated with this brand and of course I'm doing it again today. Now, if you didn't check that video out, I think it was called Daytime versus Nighttime Outfit or something like that. I'm a, Put a link up here for it and also link it at the end of the video for you to check it out if you would like to because i like those pieces that i was gifted last time i decided to work with them again and i've actually featured some of those pieces on the channel here and there you've seen this jacket before on the channel you've seen this t-shirt before on the channel you've seen the boots before on the channel a lot of times when i get things they just don't be in a haul video and then they stop i keep wearing them throughout you know my videos but anyway i have three pair of denim two tops a jacket and a couple pair of boots and we're going to get into that right after the intro You know, sometimes when these things happen, when you completely mess up the flow of a video or you mess up how you plan on doing a video, it can really, really mess with you. But, you know, I, I try not to cry over spilled milk. You know, the show must go on, so we're gonna keep it moving. I was looking at some of the comments from that last video from last year, and some of y'all, some of y'all are ridiculous. I, through those comments is like, skinny jeans are for girls, boots, I'm not feeling the boots, the boots are gay. Like, I don't understand why some of y'all call items of clothing gay. I'm not wearing girls clothes. These are men's, this men's wear. Men wore boots back in the day. I don't understand why some of y'all can't get past Jordans and, and Nikes and like everything being sneakers. Like that's not, that's not how things work. And I would acknowledge for a lot of you to explore other avenues of fashion because it's, it's a big world. The fashion world is much bigger than just Jordans. You know, I made a video a few years ago maybe and it was like, Chelsea versus Timberland or something like that. And I made that video because I had bought a f my first pair of Chelsea boots and I kept seeing like, oh man, I can't rock with those boots. I'm not feeling those boots. I don't understand it. Like y'all dudes gotta expand yourself for real because y'all live in one little bubble of, of fashion and it's much bigger than that. Since I stepped outside of the only sneakers, only streetwear, I'm here to kind of help some of you out. But anyways, this video is not about that. This video is streetwear. And if you're not familiar with collar clothing, I always consider them to be your your luxury streetwear. They are out of Toronto, Canada. And the reason why like, I keep wearing their stuff because they make some dope quality pieces. Most of their bottoms are gonna be skinny jeans, but it just actually introduced a slim jean to their lineup, which I'm gonna be talking about here today, and um, some other dope pieces. But anyway, let's hop into these pieces. All right, so first up, we have a pair of skinny jeans. So as I mentioned, collar clothing mainly does skinny jeans, but it just introduced a slim, we're gonna to get to those in a moment. But the first pair, as you can see, is gonna be this gray pair. Now this is gonna be their 203 Rockstar line, which is pretty much their classic skinny jeans. This particular pair is called the Destroyed Double Stack in Gray. Even with these jeans being skinny, like I've seen a lot of you guys kind of leave comments saying like, you can't wear skinny jeans because you have athletic legs and your thighs won't fit. Collar Clothing has a special material treated in these jeans called Kyper Stretch which allows for you to really stretch these things out to ensure that you can fit in them. So if you have thicker thighs, thicker quads, and you are always worry about trying to wear skinny jeans, you can most definitely fit in these without a problem. And they are comfortable because they really, it's like, look at that. They're comfortable, so they really have that stretch in the, in the legs. They have really good stretch in the legs. So as you can see, they're destroyed in the knee. They have an extra, I would say maybe like two inches down at the cuff, which is why it's called the double stack. The black ones I have have the same exact thing. And usually if I don't want them to be that long, you can kind of just turn those in and you wouldn't really see the extra two inches or whatever. So it will look like a regular cuff. And if you want them to be longer, of course you can just uncuff them. So you can kind of, I don't know if you can see that difference there. One leg is, this leg is cuffed, the other one is not. 
So you can kind of see it look a little bit shorter on this side. And that's just something I did with these when I got them. I realized I had the ability to do that. And sometimes I've been turning them up and then sometimes just leave them normal. The first time I experienced this brand, what I like most is that the added details they put into their garment. There's some cut and sew details at the back of these jeans and the attention to detail that they put in their pieces is definitely noticeable. Next up, we have a, another pair of the 203 Rockstar skinny jeans. And these are gonna be in more of like a vintage faded wash gray black kind of deal. I love the washing these. You can kind of see that there. Can you see it? This leg is not, there we go. Now I love the washing these. Really nice wash. This particular pair is called the Destroyed Whisker Black. Again, these are part of that 203 Rockstar Skinny Jean line. As you can see, the stressing at the knees, some really nice gray fades, some nice gradients there with those whiskers on the front and on the back. That same Kuiper stretch is in there. And I think that's, I think that's gonna be in all of their skinny jeans. So if you wanna shop down below and you're kind of weary of whether he's gonna fit your muscular legs, I think you'll be good. And they also have some detailed size charts as well. I messed up with a couple items. Whatever you usually wear in your tops and your bottoms, you're good. With the skinny jeans, these are all a size 34. Usually I wear a size 32, so I did size up and the size charts definitely did help me make that decision. And we have the same cut and sew details on the back as well. Really nice quality denim. And I forgot to mention on the other pair, there is a leather tag label inside there. I've never seen a brand do that before, which I thought was dope. It says collar and has a size on it, which is leather. Next up, we have the light blue jeans. So these are the pair, these are the pair of jeans that I messed up on originally. So I originally got them in a size 34 because I got the skinny jeans in 34, but I needed these in my normal size 32. Because they are a slim straight, the 34 ended up being a little bit too big. Now they fit, but it was also a little bit too big in the waist, especially with having that Kuiper stretch built into them. As you can see, these stretch quite a bit. So the 34 is ended up being a little bit too big. Now getting my normal size, it did make them a, more on the skinny side, but as you can see, like in the B-roll and everything, they're not as skinny as the first two. So if you're somebody who don't like to wear really skinny, skinny jeans, these are definitely for you. So as you can see, these are gonna be a, a pair of light blue denim jeans with these white bleach detail fades in certain areas with these rips on the knees as well. Of course, we have those cut and sew details at the back and it's a really nice pair of fitting jeans. Again, we have that, we have that leather label there as well. And then in the B-roll, you can kind of see the overall fit that these have. Really, really nice fit. I like my jeans to pretty much fit like this. It's a personal preference. I know some of you like your jeans a little more loose fitting, and that's that's okay. We know that's what makes us different. And then we have the t-shirt. This was another item I messed up on. I decided to get a medium after already committing to the large and changed my mind last minute it was a mistake. So I had to get the large instead. When it comes to me and how I dress and my style, I've, I've mentioned this before in the past. When it comes to streetwear and like dressing in a street way, I try to get things that are a little more loose fitting. Like for instance, this is a large, t-shirts are large. Like my tops, when it comes to tops and streetwear, I try to make sure they're a little bit loose, especially when it comes to t-shirts. When it comes to like more of a, of a casual or smart casual, more of a sophisticated look, I want those to be a little more fitted. And that's just kind of how I operate when it comes to my style. So this t-shirt is more on the oversized slash relaxed side of things which made me think that, you know what, let me kind of go through the size, this is gonna be oversized, it'll give me that, it'll give me that flowy look that I would prefer to have in my streetwear clothing. And when I got the medium in, like, it fit, but it didn't suit the vibe, like, it, it didn't suit the entire look. So I've heard people question this before, and they say, if you're wearing skinny jeans, why do you wear an oversized shirt? For me, it's like, it's just the aesthetic, and it's, it's, and it's somewhat of the proportion. If you're a slender build, and most people who wear skinny jeans are slender builds, not everyone, but you know, most. <laughs> most people who wear skinny jeans are slender builds. You don't want your body to look like this. You want it to be more like this. And that's kind of more of the natural shape of a body. We have broader shoulders and our body kind of tapers down because our legs are smaller than our upper body. We carry the majority of our weight in our upper body. So when you're wearing skinny jeans and your, your legs are more like this, because the, the material in the garment is more tighter to your body, you want to give more of a silhouette that's like this. And that's just how I operate when it comes to that. So when I put that size medium on and I had the skinny jeans, it just didn't give me that look. Skinny jeans with the boots, you want a little more of a loose fitting shirt. In my opinion, that just gives you a more of a proportionate looking outfit. That's just how I operate with it. That's my outlook. It doesn't make it right, it doesn't make it wrong. That's just how I look. Anyway, this t-shirt is called the Anarchy T and it's part of their 1970s t-shirt line, which is their graphic tees. On their website, they kind of tell you the process of how they go about 
making this t-shirt a true vintage feel. And I'm gonna put that information right here for you guys to check it out. They talk about the enzyme wash and how it gives it a very worn and, and pretty much rugged feel, which kind of caters to that true vintage essence. I've talked about this in a few videos back, how I've been really liking vintage tees. And this one, as you can see, with that faded black look, it definitely does work and fit that vintage bill. Now, before I get into these last few pieces, if you wanna shop anything that you've seen so far on the website or shop anything else that you see that you like, I have a discount code for you, which is KC Rio 15, and that's gonna save you 15% off of your order. Again, KC Rio 15 is gonna save you 15% off of your order. All the links for these pieces are down below in the description section. Now, this piece that I have right here is gonna be the resort shirt, and it's in a white marble. Now, if you saw my video last year, the daytime versus nighttime outfit video, I picked up a resort shirt, which I think was like the Burge or something, and I absolutely love that shirt. So when I saw this on here, I was like, you know what, white marble, that looks, that actually looks kind of dope. So I went ahead and picked it up. It would look great with some black skinnies like I have on right now, even maybe even like the, these gray ones. It would look great with these gray ones, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think it'll work with these gray ones, some black boots, just a really nice dope look. I know you can't see this, but hopefully the B-roll does it justice. It has a really nice smooth feel. I feel like it's probably polyester, maybe 100% polyester. 95% polyester and then 5% spandex. So yep, there is some stretch in there. Okay, so Marble Dye Resort BD. I'm not sure what the BD stands for. Button down, Rio. Button down. A really nice, comfortable feel. Cutting so details at the back. Like I mentioned, this brand is all about the details and that's something I noticed last time with these pieces and these garments. Most of these garments are cutting so, which to me says quality and attention to detail. All right, in the last piece before talking about the boots, is this biker jacket. So I picked up this classic biker. Now I got this one in a size medium, which is more of my true size. Like I mentioned to you earlier, usually I would size up when it comes to street pieces. Now the reason why I decided to go more true to size with this piece is because I have a ton of biker jackets and most of those are more of an upsize so I can layer with them. When it comes to biker jackets, my concern is that the back ends up being too short. And a lot of times biker jackets are cut where the back kind of goes up a little bit. And I can't stand when a biker jacket's like up here and everything else is kind of hanging out underneath it. I, it gets very annoying. The way that this was designed is that the back is the same exact length as the front, which to me was perfect. So it allowed me to go more with the truer size medium instead of having to size up. Now with it being in a 100% leather jacket, it does fit a little snug not to the point where I can't move and I'm restricted with my movement. It fits like, if it's it's fitted. Basically what just happened was, I just finished filming this entire video, which it was only like a few more things left, but it was like a good 10 minutes of talking and stuff. My card got full and I didn't realize it, so I filmed the rest of this stuff for no reason. So now I gotta redo the whole thing. Luckily, the video up until this point was filmed but the rest of it wasn't. I was talking about this jacket and I was saying the fit and it being not being like super, super tight. The medium is good because like it's fitted, but it's not overly fitted. And um, man, my train of thought's all gone now. With it being leather, it'll, over time, it'll kind of form to my body and to fit in a better way. You'll kind of see in a B-roll that it does fit. It fits nicely, but it's stiff because it's new. That makes sense. Anyway, I said more before, but you, you guys get what I'm saying. What I'm gonna do after I show you these boots is that I'm actually gonna put some outfits together and kind of show you how I style these items. I think I mentioned this already, but if you wanna shop anything, KC Rio 15 is gonna get you 15% off of your order. And you can shop anything on the website and use that code. I also grabbed a couple pair of boots. And the reason why I got these is because if you saw the video from last year, the nighttime versus daytime outfit or daytime versus nighttime, that's kind of how it goes in real time, daytime versus nighttime. <laughs> if you saw that video, I had the black suede pair of ankle strap boots. And a lot of y'all was really like going in on those boots in the comment section. I talked about it early in the video, but like y'all gotta chill. Like men back in the day wore boots. That's like Chelsea boots strap boots like harness boots like boots like they're dope like you gotta experiment with your style i had the black suede pair and i wanted to get the black leather they had a gray suede but i wasn't able to get a pair of those but when i saw the tan pair i just knew i wanted them because i wanted a tan pair of suede boots and there's some others out there that i actually want to get at some point down the line but i saw these knew i wanted them and i think these were like the last size available so luckily i was able to get these 
and I also got the black leather, black leather boots, you can't go wrong. They should be a staple in almost everyone's wardrobe. You can't go wrong with black leather boots. What I'm gonna do, like I mentioned, is put these things on, kind of show you how I style them, and let me know what you think about the outfits. All right, so that does it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button, let me know if you guys like the content and also helps others see the content as well. So hitting the like button is very, very important. If you are new to the channel, or if you just come back to the channel every once in a while, but don't subscribe, hit the subscribe button for your boy and click the bell so you can be notified when every video that I post go live. Follow me over on Instagram. I post outfit photos there so you can see how I style these pieces in a photographic element. I don't know why I said it like that, but it sounded kind of dope. And I think that's all I got for you guys. Again, KC Real 15 saves you 15% off of collar clothing. Thank you to Collar Clothing for blessing me with these pieces. And I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Peace.